Robert, congratulations. Uh, this was a great finale. And was it a satisfying ending for you? Um, yeah. I mean, I I'm glad I haven't seen it yet because I'm, I'm waiting for the, uh, the premiere because it's going to be strange watching one of these movies for the last time because every single time we watch them with an audience of fans, it's a completely different experience. So, uh, I don't know, hopefully it'll be quite emotional. <laughs> well, I was going to say, because I know that Taylor definitely teared up for Breaking Dawn 1. Okay, <laughs> dude, so are you ready with your, your box of Kleenex? Because I had a few tears, so I have to tell you. I, I saw one little bit I, this in the credits. Um, that's the only thing I've seen, which mm -hmm. Bill showed me enough. That even that was what was really sad. That's what got me. Yeah, that's it's really me. weird. It's like, I don't know why it's kind of... Yeah. It does. It has a kind of powerful effect on. It really yeah. does. It was a class act on um, on Bill's part yeah. in the credits that way. I have to say, I don't want to give anything away. <laughs> people see the credits. It's stayed to the very end. <laughs> um, you know, when you look back at this experience, five years, the people that you've worked with, not just the actors, the crew, everybody. What's the most memorable thing that you can take away from it, Robert? Mm. Well. I think it's it's a the probably the most major thing. Um, it's yeah, it's having the same, pretty much the same group of cast. I mean, some of the some of the crew stayed from the beginning, but having that big cast from the beginning, where we're all young and not really that known yet, and um, to all be part of something where you could kind of feel it on the first shoot that something was happening, and um, and then to have this crazy formative experience with everyone. I mean. It's that it's a, a massive bonding moment. Yeah, I mean, what's it been like to be a part of something that has made so many people so happy? <laughs> it, and it's crazy. I mean, I still haven't. I still can't separate my own experience. Like, so I, I don't, I've never really acknowledged the fact that anyone even watches the movies. <laughs> I, mean, I just sort of. I just know that I do them, and I know that I have an experience with people screaming at premieres and stuff. But like the idea that actually someone's sitting there and watching it is completely unthinkable to me. Um, so hopefully in a few years I'll, I can get like the box set and like watch them all through and actually have the experience of watching yeah, them. Yeah, that would be interesting. So how did Kristen cut it as a vampire? She's pretty good. <laughs> I'd say. It's unfair as well because she got to do, she actually got to revel in her physicality yeah. of it, whereas even in the first one, Edward's already jaded, <laughs> he's over it. <laughs> like, so I've always been bored with being a vampire. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Now I have to ask you, um, I'm putting a special together and I want to give you this one last opportunity to look to the camera and say what you want to the fans that have stayed loyal and devoted to you through this entire thing. What do you want to say to them? Um, hmm. Thank you guys so very, very much. Um, for all your support and it's kind of you've driven this series to what it is basically and I hope you all like Breaking Dawn too because it's kind of it's kind of all about you guys anyway so uh hope you like it <laughs> it's terrible it uh, wasn't terrible. I, I think. Why do I look so? I feel so naked looking into the camera. Like, no, are you kidding? Everyone's going to appreciate that. You know what? Thank you so much, and oh. it's been wonderful getting to know you over these last five yeah, years. And too. I'm sure we will talking to you lots more and make more films in Toronto. I I want to.